Woke up this morning and learned that in addition to circadian rhythm being disrupted because of our clocks falling back, melatonin may actually be killing us or maybe just killing our hearts. In a study that was just reported in the research abstract presentation at the American Heart Association meeting, investigators looked at over 130,000 patients who were pulled from a very large international medical records database. They looked at patients who reported habitual use of melatonin for a course of a year versus those who suffered from insomnia but weren't really recorded, at least as per their reports and medical records, to use melatonin long term. They found that patients who use melatonin long term had nearly a two-fold increase in the rate of new onset heart failure a two-fold increase, nearly two-fold increase in the overall mortality and three and a half times increase in the rates of heart failure hospitalizations. Needless to say, the study is making the news and internet is abuzz. But before you stop your melatonin, let's look at it with the objectivity and some cool head on. First of all, the study is reporting on the observation and not on the causation. This is like saying that when you see ambulances at the scene of an accident, that the ambulances cause an accident. Obviously, that is not true because association is not causation. Secondarily, we know as medical practitioners and as many patients know that electronic medical records often contain mistakes and patients often on the report their use of medications. Thirdly, melatonin in most countries is actually an over-the-counter supplement. Investigators did look at melatonin in the United Kingdom, where it is a prescription-based substance, and did confirm their findings, but obviously that significantly narrows the implication of their results since it's limited to only one geographic location. And finally, and most importantly, is it actually a signal or is it a red herring? The most important fact here is that patients were using melatonin for insomnia and severe and chronic insomnia that requires using melatonin for over a year is a tremendous inflammation amplifier. So is it really insomnia and its effect on sleep disruption and our circadian rhythm disruption or is it melatonin? This is what we have to figure out. So if you are a melatonin user, speak to your physician, preferably somebody with an integrative or functional medicine background, because the important question is, why are you using it? Can we evaluate your sleep and understand if you have any circadian rhythm abnormalities? And what are the root causes behind your sleep disruption? You can build stress resiliency and you can build sleep resiliency as well.